Well, in this case, because we're using substitution, we we'll obviously have to consider what L or a U would be. But in this case, for this particular example where you have one power which is a 2 and the other one's a 3, like even if it's cos squared and sine cubed, which is the other way around, we must always choose the one with the lower power. So yeah, let me just say let u equal sine x. Now, obviously we've got to differentiate this, so du over dx will give me a nice little cos x. Normally we can just sub this in and just get our answer, but... For this kind of examples, we need to use some sort of trigonometric identity such that, well, we've got to simply say sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1. I'll tell you why in a minute. So if I put u in here, we'll simply have u squared plus cos squared x equal 1. Now, if you just rearrange this to make cos squared a subject, we should get cos squared x equals 1 minus u squared. So now we have what? u equals sine x, du of dx equals cos x, and so first things first, sine squared x. Write that down. Now for this case, like to solve this, we kind of have to split the cos cubed into, say, cos squared and a cos x. So we should have cos squared x and cos x. Now this should, now this should be easy. If you can see, we can now just substitute sine x into here where u would be being replaced. So let me just change the colors a bit. So say if I put u into here, we'll have u squared. Now for cos squared x, be careful not to choose this one because we do not want a du squared over dx squared. It just don't make sense basically. So yeah, let's substitute this back in. So we're going to have 1 minus u squared. Now cos x would simply be du over dx times dx cross sum out, bang bang, and that's it, now we simply have u squared times 1 minus u squared with respect to u. So yeah, so now this is obviously going to be pretty straightforward, so we can actually solve this ourselves. But yeah, so let me just kind of like sim clean this up a bit. So if we're going to expand this, we would get u squared minus u to the power 4 respect to du. Integrate that, we get u cubed over 3 minus u5 over 5 plus c. And obviously if you just replace, the, substitute the sine x back in, we should ultimately have sine cube x over 3 minus sine power 5x over 5. And don't forget a little plus here.